Hi Libra land. So I'm going to get some advice for single Librans in regards to the love department. And then at the end, I'm going to get some advice for those in a relationship Librans. For single Librans, I'm using the Wizard's Tarot by Corinne Kenner. This is a discontinued tarot deck. This was my first tarot deck I ever got myself. 2017, I think. And we have the Animal Totem Tarot for those in a relationship. So let's see. Single Librans. I'm also going to pull playing cards. My personalized deck. What's going on for single Librans? What's the advice? What's up? What's going on? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, single Librans. Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. <laughs> you're so protected. You are single, but you're thriving. You're at the Nine of Pentacles. I heard everything at your disposal and more. Whatever you desire. You're supported by your ancestors. Three generations, to be specific. Because there's three columns of pentacles in the wall behind her. Walls are the support, right? They help guard what's the interior walls, what's inside. And they are a supportive. So your support system and the angels. This is the Knight of Swords. This is my Archangel Michael card in this tarot deck. You have ancestor support and angel support, Libra. And animal support, I just heard, because I'm noticing the falcon. Two of wands. Bring more spirit. Bring more spiritual into your physical world, Libra. I just heard meditate more, single Librans. You need to meditate more because this is the two of wands. He's balancing the fireball with the invisible. The invisible is spirit. So balancing your physical life, your 3D life with the 5D. But I also heard it's okay to bring a little more spirit into your physical world because this person seems very focused on the physical. I just start a gentle nudge from spirit to bring more spirituality into your life, more meditation. Single Librans. Four of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. Savings. Building up your savings account with this Four of Pentacles. Okay. But know that money. 333 three, three on the clock. The angels are here. Money is a currency. Currency is energy, right? Keep it flowing. Keep it balanced with this two of pentacles. But the two of pentacles speaks of very earthly things, right? The pentacles, earth. What's two of the most valuable resources on this earth, Libra? Your time and your money, your time and your money, balancing it out. I mean, unfortunately, I didn't make the rules. <laughs> I'm just reading the cards. Bringing a good balance with your um, career and your home life, I heard. Okay. Wow. Obviously, we all start off small. We all start off at the beginnings. Okay. Okay. Page of Pentacles, but this is obvious. Um, remain financially focused and balanced in your energy in X input <laughs> exertion. Something about physical. You're doing a lot of physical things, and you're not meditating enough. 
you're doing a lot of earning money, but you're not meditating enough. Single Librans. <laughs> Oh, I'm just telling you what I'm getting from my guides. And look what's back out. Single Librans. The Two of Wands. What did we say? Bring more spiritual focus to your physical life. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Double Two Energy, Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Let's look up the meaning of Angel Number 22, Libra. For you angel number 22 for Libra angel number 22 this number is your angel's way of telling you that you are on the right track and that your dreams are about to become a reality. <laughs> Seeing the number, this also shows somebody like bringing their dreams to reality. And he's like looking at his manifestation, this fireball, like, whoa, I'm making things happen. I created this. Libra, you, you did it. The angels are saying, seeing the number 22 indicates that your angels have your back and are ready to help you in whatever way they can. And that's for sure, single Librans with this Knight of Swords, along with the Nine of Pentacles. You may be single, but you are supported. Most definitely by spirit. Whoa. Now we got to look up angel number 222. Whoa. Look what's at the bottom. The two of swords. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You would think I did magic somehow, right? Nope. But let's look at angel number 222. Yeah. Magic in spirit, I just heard. The magic that is spirit. Hallelujah, yes. Amen. Ashe. So it is. Angel number 222 represents a fresh start. Our mind is a powerful instrument that we can use to shape our lives. You may change your life by focusing on positive thoughts. In numerology, Angel number 222 indicates that your optimistic thoughts and visualizations are soon going to come to fruition. That's why it's so important to meditate right now, Libra. Oh my gosh. This is so amazing and so exciting. Look at this. Look what's behind that. The Ace of Wands. The most promising, the most powerful Ace. This is like the Big Bang Ace. Something is getting ready to start off with a bang in your life, Libra. Brought in by spirit. I think it has to do with your career, single Librans, to be honest. That's amazing. Yes. Let's ask the playing cards what else for single Librans, and then we'll move into the couples. Single Librans. What's up? What's going on? Yes. <laughs> you saw me turn it up. Something told me turn it up the other way. Because look, this is the positive side, the good fortune side of the Joker. And that's the negative side. So, and you saw me, something said switch the deck around before you cut it. And I did. That's so wild. Uh, oh. Okay. Single. Librans. Single Librans. What's coming towards single Librans? Unexpected events. Expect the unexpected Libra, the Five of Diamonds. Unexpected events. Yes, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Symbols on the top of that card there. 
Number five, a number of change, okay? <laughs> this says lotto win. News that a friend, daughter or daughter-in-law could be expecting a child. But change and expect the unexpected is what stuck out to me the most. Yep, and I put that over top of the Nine of Pentacles. This is going to be so positive for you single Libras. Okay. And you are being protected against a negative person who may betray you or hold you back. Okay. I wanted to put these two together. This knight and this jack. They're very similar energies. So like I said, this Archangel Michael card, this Knight of Swords, this Air Element Knight, which is the most rare knight and which is our knight, Libra, is protecting you against a negative person who may try to betray you or hold you back. So I heard, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Woo! Another five. Five of hearts here. Romance, children, lottery, again. How did, you, how? Okay, I don't promote gambling, but if you are a lottery player, Libra, I'm going to show you on these two five cards. These are probably the only two cards that have lottery spoken on them, okay? The first card, the five of diamond, diamonds, I know it's backwards, but that says lotto win. And this five of hearts Sorry, it's upside down. Lottery. Wow. Romance, children, lottery, creative pursuits, and hobbies. There's definitely some jealousy coming from a fire sign. Single Librans, because we have jealousy written up on the top of this card. And this is a card of Aries, Leo, and Sag. Two fives. We'll have to look at angel number 55, but let's get one more card. Single Librans, one more. What else, spirit? Anything else? Okay, top card. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh, thank you, spirit. Thank you. I knew it was going to happen. Look. I am tuned in for you, Libra land. Give this reading a big thumbs up just because of all the synchronicities and angel numbers and the combinations. I mean, if you really look back on this reading, how is this even happening? First, you had two and two in the tarot cards. And then at the bottom was the other two. So we had, we went from 22 to 222. I said, let's look up the angel number 55 and in my mind, I was like, that would be so wild if the next card out was another five, making the 55 into 555, five, five, just like the two and two turned into 222. Two, two. It's like, this is the way that spirit and angels communicate with us, Libra. Coded messages, numerology, astrology. That's how they speak to us. This is so amazing right now. Now, the five of spades says you will soon be moving on, new job, relocation, or end of a relationship. If those of you that are teetering on like fully becoming single or not, you will soon. And it's to your benefit. Now, let's look up angel number 55 and then 555. This is so cool. Give this reading a thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> please, I appreciate you. This is so wild. Okay. The two reds. Angel number 55. Showing up in your experience is a sign that major life changes are coming. New beginnings, opportunity, and developing your leadership skills. Stay in focus. The angels will guide and support you. Have no fear. Libra. Now let's look up angel number 555. Angel number 555 is that significant change is imminent. Change is a part of life. And when you see the number 555, something is telling you that a transition is in play in your life and all around you. 
every change can bring some stress. It's part of being human. But this is leading you to vast circles of opportunities through this transition. You're manifesting adventure. Oh, what the universe has in store for you. I just heard in my mind the possibilities. The possibilities are endless Libra, single Librans. Thank you so much. Let's get into the relationship Librans. Hi, Librans and relationships. Hello, my friends. Patience could be a factor right now. Temperance. Very beautiful energy around you. But patience could be a very important word right now. Seven of Wands. Okay. You or your person may be feeling like they have to defend their position. They have to defend their relationship with you. They feel like you are watching someone or they may be spying on someone else. We have the page of swords at the bottom or someone is watching you and your partner is aware of this, okay? The Queen of Pentacles. Who is this? I heard the other woman, the Emperor. There is no other woman. What is happening? This is who, okay, Libran. This is who you masculine Librans are in a relationship with, an earth sign. Gifts, gifts, judgment arriving. Librans in relationships. If you are a feminine Libran, okay, excuse me, there's, let me calm down. That was just a beginning story for some of you. Some of you are maybe dealing with like feeling secure, having patience with your partner. You or them, okay? Now we're going to move into feminine Librans. You're embodying this Queen of Pentacles energy. You are secure. You are stable. For those of you that are mothers, you're very good mothers. And you have gifts arriving. The reindeer. Or there's going to be some type of judgment call made that you are making, feminine Librans. You're going to share your gifts. Oh, beautiful. You're ready to, to spread the word with Gabriel's um, trumpet horn there. You're ready to make some type of announcement. <gasps> Congratulations if you're getting married or you're having an anniversary. I just heard, it's an anniversary, anniversary. Thinking about the younger days, page of cups at the bottom. <sighs> Thinking about the younger years, the beginnings. There's gifts to be shared though. You need to share these gifts. Share your gifts. Librans and relationships. Don't let being in a relationship hold you back from sharing your gifts. Wow. And we have the temperance card back out. But yes, I just heard that with that sleigh full of presents. Okay. Because temperance, patience will be paying off. Patience is a virtue with this temperance card, the rainbow, 
the divine rainbow, the flamingo. I just put on top of this queen of pentacles. So those feminines, maybe you're in a relationship with a Libra. Okay, you could be cross-watching right now. Or this is you, feminine Librans. You're embodying this queen of pentacles energy. Um... Many of you could be focusing, I heard, on what you consume, your diet, okay? And I'm only saying that, your health, because I put the flamingo over top of the pig, and the flamingo is pink because they eat shrimp. Shrimp are pink. So the flamingo gets their color from the shrimp they consume, so something about what you consume, switching up your diet may be of a benefit to you. Okay, okay. The moon. Ooh, mystery, the owl, enlightenment. What are you learning, those in relationships? Mysteri like mystery. It's our anniversary. I just keep hearing that. Anniversary. Eight of swords. You feel like you need to defend, defend something. Woo, queen of wands. For those Libra in relationships, do you feel like you need to defend your, your home? You see this mole. I just heard network from this Queen of Wands energy. Okay. Yeah, obviously. I knew I wasn't just saying that to say it. Look what's behind the Queen of Wands. The Nine of Wands. Protection. Put your defenses up. Advice for those dealing with a intruding Queen of Wands energy. Tell me more about this intruding Queen of Wands. The Fool. The full. Ooh, the, the king of swords, the eagle at the bottom. What about the full? What about the full? What about the full? My ear's ringing now. The Nine of Cups in the Hierophant. Okay. You, Librans, in relationships, are being, you're having wish fulfillment. You're starting over a new, you're feeling like you've started a new cycle in your life. And you're going for it. Look, the grasshopper is going for it. It's like you're going for your wish fulfillment. And you're going to receive this with the Nine of Cups and the Fool. This Queen of Wands cannot stop a thing from keeping Libra from their wishes coming true. I heard it's for you, Libra. And look, I'm looking at this Empress. That's you at the bottom of my other tarot deck that I used for the single Librans. There's, there's no comparison. Yes, this Queen of Wands card is a beautiful card. And they're different. This is an animal totem tarot. 
but the empress embodies all the queens you're regal you cannot be copied you are unique you are royalty spirit sees you as that your crown is made of light their crown is it's fine it may be like gold or metal but yours is special because you are different it's made of light in the stars libra empress energy need i remind you move towards your wish fulfillment this cannot be stopped the hierophant you're being given some type of keys your connection to source it's growing and you're you're being given keys to open many doors librans in relationships let's pull you gypsy cards advice for librans in relationships before we close this out 26 26 on the clock i just saw we'll we'll look up that angel number meaning in just a second librans in relationships you have a person that wants to either this is you being very fair you will defend your relationship you will honor your person masculine librans feminine librans you are being honored okay first card out your person wants to protect you they want to bring you honor what else for libra your person could have have recently dealt with some type of loss the widower card was at the bottom yeah your person your love um or if this is you masculine librans gone through a lot You've gone through a lot that's the misfortune card you've seen a lot of i heard destruction oh my gosh congratulations if you're not married i don't mean to like <laughs> kill the surprise but uh <laughs> congratulations labrance this is your love it's your anniversary. Hey, anniversary, Libra. Oh, you could be marrying a widower. Okay, the widower card is back at the bottom. The person that you're married to or that you will be marrying, okay, Libra's in relationships, they've known a lot of loss, okay? And they really want to just love you. And maybe you've known a lot of loss too. You saw me just cut the deck open. It really wanted to show the widower card as well. So whether you're masculine or feminine, you or your person has seen a lot of loss. I heard they can confide in you though. They can trust you forever more. A truthful love to adore. Mmm. That was my spirit guide's little rhyme for you, Librans and relationships. Now let's look up angel number 2626. Please give this reading a thumbs up so I can reach more Librans. I appreciate you so very much. Okay. 2626 is about you need to take it easy. Take time out to meditate, pray, and focus upon your spiritual interests and practices. Listen to your heart. You need to lessen your anxiety load. Try not, oh, you may be having um, memories of a rough breakup or a time in your past. But it's time to focus your energy and attention on strengthening your relationships and resolving any conflicts. I heard become more um, soft, like 
this flamingo energy. I don't know if flamingos are soft, but they do have feathers and they can fly. So they must be soft, right? And they're pink. They're beautiful. It's okay to be soft and proud. Flamingo message. Ooh, let's look up the spiritual symbolism of the flamingo. Flamingo symbolism. Libra. What is clear is that flamingos exemplify a state of seemingly effortless grace and balance. Wow. As symbols of balance, flamingos remind us to seek balance in our own lives. The idea of balance in one's life might seem like an elusive state. And I really want to show you the picture of these two gorgeous flamingos making a heart together. Oh my gosh. Libran in relationships look. Love you guys so much. Stay balanced and stay blessed. Until next time. Peace.